Coming up on Cabarrus This Week, learn how Cabarrus County Transportation Services provide rides to get residents to the doctor and other important appointments. And the county and its partners officially opened the doors to a new child care option in Cabarrus. Now the center is helping working parents and setting an example for local businesses. Plus, experience another healthy, delicious recipe from Pam's Kitchen. That's all right now on Cabarrus This Week. Welcome to Cabarrus This Week, the show that connects you to the people, programs, and events that impact our community. I'm Scott Grossman, and today we're at All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, where the doors are officially open for the Lockhart Child Care Development Center. More on that in a moment, but first, did you know Cabarrus County offers a variety of transportation services to community members at free and discounted rates? Services include trips to work, meal delivery, pharmacy, and doctor appointments. Here's Herb Sisk, a retired police officer and teacher, to share why Cabarrus Transportation Services is important to his health, safety, and well-being. My name is Herb Sisk, a formerly a school teacher and former law enforcement officer. I've had uh, nine hip surgeries, uh, two back surgeries, two neck surgeries, fully disabled. I'm in a wheelchair. I can walk, but being walking is very difficult for me. It's uh, painful and I uh, feel more comfortable in the wheelchair than out and about. I go to the doctor very often for my hips. I go for my back. I have some appointments being made to get some back injections. The bus provides me that service so I can go see the doctors. Just helping the community and getting people to their appointments and helping people stay safe. It keeps my wife from having to get off of work to take me. So far I've used the services four or five times and I'm very pleased with it. They take me to the doctor's office, drop me off. I go to my appointment, and after my appointment, I call them back up, tell them I'm ready to come home. Usually in 15, 20 minutes, they're back there and repeat the service back to the door. It's basically a door-to-door -door service. It's very helpful for me. It's convenient for me, it's safe for me, it provides comfort for me, it doesn't interfere with my wife's lifestyle. It gives me my independence that I need. Thanks for letting us ride with you, Herb. Many rides provided by Cabarrus County Transportation Services are covered by insurance or Medicaid. To learn more about the program and eligibility criteria, call 704-920-2246 or visit cabarruscounty.us and search transportation. Now, access to early education is important for a child's brain development, and it's a critical component of a strong economy and education system. These days, working parents have limited options for safe, affordable, and highly effective child care. Cabarrus County, All Saints Episcopal Church, and Rowan Cabarrus Community College are collaborating to address local child care needs. Together, they've created the Lockhart Child Development Center. It's a five-star facility that acts as a training site for RCC students who wish to pursue a career in childhood development. The county is also using the site as subsidized care for employees and hopes the model is something other businesses will replicate. The community came together for a ribbon cutting ceremony marking the official opening of the center and what it means for early childhood education in Cabarrus. It becomes clear as one of the area's largest employers, we needed to help support our employees and family members that they're working for. Through our Early Childhood Education Initiative, we've begun to do that. We're here to celebrate the opening of the Lockhart Child Development Center, which is in the beginning phases of moving child care forward in Cabarrus County. What should make you guys feel good is that you know your entire community of Cabarrus County came together to make this happen. We are public-private partnership with Rowan Cabarrus Community College as well as um, Cabarrus County Government Commissioner's Office along with All Saints, their church here. Families need to know that their children are in great care. Families need to know that children are here to get education. We're not babysitters. We're actually someone who's providing child development and learning experiences to have our children prepared and ready for school. This, this is not an easy task. We have children here, and you can hear the sounds of them already, and this is what you hear from 6.30 in the morning to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So we had to see what we can do to bring in a reasonable pay uh, to bring our staff in, and I, I can really say that the county really supported that. Having one of these is just, it's, it makes you, puts your whole mind at ease. And it, it makes you really excited to be able to know that your, your child's being well taken care of. Three, two, one. Woo! 
The Lockhart Child Development Center is located at All Saints Episcopal Church at 525 Concord Lake Road in Concord. For more information on the site and the partnership that made it happen, call 704-260-0040. One of our favorite people, Cabarrus County Cooperative Extension Agent Pam Ooten is here with a fast, healthy, and wonderful recipe for breakfast on the go. Let's take a look at mini egg muffins. We're going to be making broccoli cheese muffins. So we're going to begin by heating the oven to 350 degrees. I've already broken seven eggs and have them here. So now I'll add the eighth egg. I will now add a fourth a cup of water a fourth a teaspoon of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now, let's give these a great whisk. Okay, our eggs and water and spices are ready. Now, we're going to add uh, the broccoli flourettes to our 12 container uh, muffin tin. I love using a large pitcher or measuring cup like this. It makes pouring the egg mixture in very easy. And you want to fill up the muffin tins about two-thirds cup. Okay, they're all about two-thirds full. Now we will sprinkle on one cup of low-fat cheddar cheese. And we will bake this in a 350-degree oven for about 14 to 16 minutes. So to the oven we go to bake. Um, watch your oven, see if they're browning nicely, and don't these look delicious? They're fun to make and really easy too. I'm serving these with some fresh fruit, and you have more of a complete meal that way. Even if you're going to pack it to go, include some fruit and some broccoli cheese muffins for a quick and easy lunch or breakfast on the run. Thanks, Pam. We always have a great time in Pam's kitchen. Those are some of our favorite shoots ever. Well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for joining us. And as always, you can find more information and updates by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County or subscribing to our weekly newsletter. Visit CabarrusCounty.us and type newsletter in the search bar. Don't forget you can watch all of our other programming on demand at youtube.com slash Cabarrus County. You can like and subscribe to get all of our updates. Thanks, Capco. Have a great week.